I can't wait to York all over the place. <laughs> all over your face. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, guys. We're here with Batman. Oh, I'm going to York all over Batman. Oh, oh, this game is so good. Oh, I'm going to York. Oh, oh. 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 Dan, pass me a towel. I got to clean myself up. So guys, we're Level Grinders. It's me and Cody this wait, time. Wait, wait. We are here wait, with Batman. Wait. What? We're Level Grinders? Yes, we are. Wow. Right? Since when? Right? I don't know. Why didn't you tell me? I, I should have. I, I thought we were freaking just like playing freaking games this whole time. Why didn't you tell me we were being recorded? <laughs> and we're like up to what? 200 and... 60, I guess, at this moment. And no one bothered to tell me. No, Why am I always the last no, to know? Nobody bothered to tell you anything. Mm. It's just going to be our little secret. Oh, man, not okay. <laughs> All right. So oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look okay. at that crotch. Oh, oh. He's got a bigger bulge than you. Batman's oh. bulge is going to make me York. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to York. <laughs> so, subtitles on, yes. Brightness. Dark? No, we gotta keep it. Oh. There, we're good. That's we're there. Yeah, that's okay. good. So, so the everybody at home can see it too. Oh man, yeah. that wait, where's the bat nips? It's not Batman without bat nipples. No, that suit sucked ass. <laughs> the nipples are just like, hey guys, this is where my nipples are right here. Just pinch them. Pinch them. Like, it's my I weak like spot. Pinch them. Wait, wait, pinch wait, wait. I'm sorry, Ed. What? what? I like that costume. See, he I likes the bat nipples. It. Look, look. Look, the Robin suit was good without the freaking nipples pointing out like, hey, look, Twin Peaks. Whoa, my <laughs> nipples do that. Everyone's yeah. nipples do that, including oh, Batman's. You should so, see my nipples at work. Are we going oh, easy? God, yeah. Normal or are we going hard? Let's go normal. Let's go normal. Yeah, normal's a good Oh, yeah. Set. All right, this game supports autosave. Don't care. Okay, let's oh. go. Okay. You know, oh. as, as soon as I sat down next to you, Dan, I got all sweaty and warm. Mm. Ah! Oh. Oh, I didn't need to hear that. All right, so oh. on a dark, stormy night, why is it that man can't be like on a nice sunny beach? <laughs> Hi guys, I'm gonna bring you to justice. You're I'm gonna like Bruce Wayne, man. No, I'm not. You can't tell any of this. Ooh. You're not. You're not. We can totally see through your cowl, man. Did you know that freaking in the '60s Batman show with Adam West, that friggin' Batman had a surf contest with the Joker? Yeah. And <laughs> out. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even joking you. He wore the bathing suit outside of his bat suit. He had his bat suit on with a friggin' swimming trunks, oh, whatever. Were they like really horrible, um, like floral print swimsuit? Uh, I think it looked like the sky of Bikini Bottom. Oh. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's cool. Well, all right. <sighs> You're really excited to do this, aren't you? Yes. I love this Batmobile. Oh, this game is perfection. Mark Hamill, holy... You know what's fucked up? Oh, what? Mark Hamill's name... Uh-huh. Well, everyone knows Mark Hamill is the Joker at this yes. point. He is the Joker. And if you spell out Mark Hamill, A-M-A-R-K-H-A-M-I-L-L... -L, yeah. If you take his... Last three letters of his first name and the first three letters of his it's last Arkham. name. It's Arkham. Yeah. No. M A R K H A M I L L. Mark Hamill's name spells out Arkham. Oh. How fucked up is that? That's so cool. Love what you've done to the place. I do love how fucking, um... We're gonna have a great little time, kitties. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. I do like how, um... Kevin Conroy and the guy who plays Batman and Mark Hamill, the voice of the Joker, retired after the second game, Arkham City, and then immediately came back after Arkham <laughs> Origins. Arkham Origins. Yeah. They're like, oh. wait, no. We, we gotta fix this shit. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Doing their voices. Absolutely, dude. Did you see the killing joke? You're gonna, oh, I yes, haven't. I did, and you're gonna be very disappointed in me. I hate that movie. 
Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully. I understand. I want to throw a hot dog down your dark hole. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand, but that movie version was terrible. The that comic. Was so, that was so good. The yeah. comic was fucking orgasmic. No the movie, though. No spoils, never spoils. But the movie, though, was fucking terrible. No, the movie was awesome. It was so bland. What drug? What drugs are you on? I I can't give it a proper review in front of Dan because no spoils. I'm just. But I, I have one thing to say to you about why that movie is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Go on. You're just gonna turn it off when I get halfway across. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't understand because you haven't seen it. I hate you. It is that is my second favorite joke. It is oh, genuinely oh a good joke. Nobody yeah. got it. Nobody thought it was funny. The first time around, I didn't get it because I was like half paying attention, and so I have to I have to rewind it to actually like listen to it to really get it. And I was like, ha! Yes. I saw it in theaters yeah. and I, like I was this. laughing hysterically. Yeah. Like my this. friends were like, what? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> just the you can't fuck it. This is like watching and you you're one of my favorite lines. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we interrupting you? Yes. Or at least the thing for you. Anyway. <gasps> How dare you make it a pity thing, you bastard! You take that back. I will do no such thing. Are you thing. rooting this thing for me? For me, you pitiful bastard! I'm not pitiful. I'm just vengeful. <gasps> <gasps> I like the the line he said there. Ah, oh, we're just sneaking bats, uh, bat eggs, and bat claws. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a warden idiot. You'll never escape. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't bad. That was actually pretty decent. <laughs> I five sir. Solid. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this is the most boring part of the game. Sorry guys. I would be genuine for that guy care for like, friggin' like holding the thing, wheeling him down the hallway. I'd be oh. genuinely scared. To grab the thing and be like, to wheel him down and be like, no, I am not getting anywhere near him. You're good. You can do it, right? <laughs> I like the look of him. Just look at that. That is such an awesome Joker. That is the Joker right there. Mark <laughs> Hamill, that look. Need to take Dude. Picture, I'd be happy to drop mm. my pants. Oh, man. Oh, all right. Category, category nine. nine. Guess who? Wouldn't Joker be category ten? Who is it? What is a category ten if Joker's not ten? I don't know. All right. Like, holy balls. I'm looking. I'm waiting. Hmm. Must have been Must one of the gods. Oh, that's that. oh, oh, man. Dude. Killer Croc oh, scares the oh, shit out of me the first time I played this game. Oh, you're not the only one he scared the shit out of. He is giantly huge. Yeah. Hey, honestly, why does he belong in Arkham Asylum? He's not mentally insane. He's just a creature. Yeah. A um, man creature. A manly man creature. Mm, yeah. The only way you can be Ooh. more of a man... This is the perfect Killer Croc. I mean, like, Killer Croc is, uh, I don't remember his actual name, but he was just born with that kind of disorder mm. that his skin is all scaly and shit. So it doesn't under it doesn't make sense why he's, like, 12 feet tall. Yeah, um... But it's still just so damn cool. Yeah, apparently the way they had him in the suit... I mean, like, in a no lot of... spoils. All right, if anybody hasn't seen the Suicide Squad movie, the Suicide Squad movie... That is, yeah. like, the perfect size but, for him. Yeah, no, him and, and him in that movie... I didn't know he was supposed to be that, that like, the normal size. Yeah, like, he's really always... Cool. He's only, like, maybe six foot five, maybe seven feet tall. He's a large dude, but, but he's mean, not that fucking big. Yeah, and that is, like, 
multiple like what the, what the, that stories. is like twelve feet tall. That is terrifying. Not multiple stories. Yeah, twelve feet tall. Multiple stories. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if he was like three he's stories a tall. Skyscraper. <laughs> but he's big. But he was never that big. He's but it's still very cool. He's the size of the kickball. Oh yeah. So Dan just started watching <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. He's never seen it, and I we just got through Dragon Ball entirely, and he just started Dragon Ball Z. No, no, no. I meant Piccolo from Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah. I don't know why, but in Dragon Ball, they made him really, really fucking massive, but in Dragon Ball Z, apparently he's still the same size, but they really dumbed him down size-wise. I was like, yeah, no, I can't do that anymore. Like I've said before, it's like, okay, spoils again for anybody who... I don't know why you haven't seen Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. Yet. You haven't seen it, dude. But I, up until like a couple months ago, you haven't seen it. Spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen all of Dragon Ball. Whenever Goku makes friends with one of his enemies, they like lose all their abilities they use on him in the freaking fights. It's like, hey, look, we're friends with you now. We're totally fucking useless. Well, I mean, at that point, by the time he becomes <laughs> friends with them, Goku is just so OP in comparison to the the villains that he used to be a but villains not with. Not even that. It's just like when they fight against other people. It's like. Uh, you know, all those moves I learned and tried to use against you, I totally forgot all of them. Well, at that point, it's just, Goku is just so OP that they would just do nothing to him at that point, you know? No, no, not even to him, just like, to anybody else. Like, if they had uh, a fight against somebody else, it'd be like... Okay, against oh, somebody else, maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, and it's just like, the, the show completely forgot about all the cool abilities they gave him. So, here, this is where they explain it. Yeah, right. <laughs> her voice too. That's the original voice from the '90s show, the best Batman show ever. But for some reason, they got Tara Strong instead of her, which I can't remember her actual name. But in an, in Arkham City, on they got Tara Strong, which is she's a very great actress, but she's not her. Harley Quinn. Mm. She, she does a great job as her. You're, you're definitely correct about that, but there she's not Harley Quinn. <laughs> she's a great substitute. I'll give her that. Very great substitute. So, see, this is a, this is a really good example. We're at... What, what, what? 12 over there? Yeah. It's a very long intro, guys. Now, here's a question. Why couldn't... Did uh, the thing shut down, or can Batman just walk around... And instead of punching through the glass. No, it, it, it was locked. The force field was up. He couldn't get through. Yeah, but they're in the control center. One button, he could just walk around. Should have been able to, yeah. I guess she took it over that easily, that quickly. But then how wouldn't they know that she was she escaped? What's she up? Had, uh, I said, how didn't they know that she was, she was out of herself? I don't think they knew. I still don't think they know. I think they know someone is with him, but not Harley Quinn necessarily. But damn, dude, I could talk about Batman for days. I have talked about Batman for days, actually. <laughs> oh, man. So. Oh, I love this game, dude. I've lo I haven't played this game in like three years. I, same here. I haven't played it in it's a been while, a, but yeah, it's I been a while. love it. Oh, hey, remember something? I remember something. Ugh! This game is this game is like the best, the second best Batman game ever made. Arkham City is number one. I gotta say, Arkham City is the best Batman game ever made. I love Arkham City. Or because Arkham it's... City, not just Batman game, oh, but just bat anything Batman related is the best. <laughs> I, and I well. As of right now, Arkham City is the best. Absolutely. In, in, in my opinion as well. I mean, Arkham Origins was... It was okay. Um, and as for Arkham Knight, I have not played Arkham Knight. I haven't played Arkham Knight either, but, but that's on my list. Amazing. That's definitely on my list to play. Alright, so am I going to get as much as I can find? I guess. Um, or do you want me to just walk through? Let's get what we need and just move on, I'd say. Because I mean, if we... I can go right in there. If we 100% of this game, it would take 
like hundreds of episodes. That's true. But, it, you know. I mean, I would gladly 100% this game, except for the fucking Riddler trophies. Oh, no, yeah, no, that's, that's the Wait, bad thing. Wait, are the Riddler you know trophies what? in this one, there's or this is, one that in, right is that just in City? It, no, it's in this one. There. That is it, okay. One. There's one right in that thing there. Alright, so yeah, fuck yeah. the Riddler trophies. And the Nothing... teeth, too. The teeth are fucking... I mean, thing. sometimes the teeth are necessary because they do kind of hurt you. No, not in this one. Not but, in this one. They don't do a damn thing. They're just there. Are they? Yeah, they're just annoying. So in city, they they hurt you then. Hey. Yeah, they just sit there in the lap. See? Hey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ed, you you have a problem there? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna um kill him, punch him, punch him, pull the trigger and fire a punch bullet at them. Yeah. All right. Good. I'm gonna go this way. Can you hear me? Oracle. Yay. Tell me everybody knows who Oracle is. I do. Thanks, Ed. Barbary. It is Bay Bray! It's Bay Bray! It's Bay Bray! Bay Garden! Garden? Bay Bray Garden! Can I not do that thing yet? Oh, fine. Alright, I'll talk to Franklin. Hey, buddy! Hey, generic security guard! <laughs> hey, no, his name was Officer Franklin! Officer Franklin, oh, gen yeah, the, generic, the generic security guard! <gasps> oh, yeah, it's Zaz! Dude, I love Zaz. He's cool as hell. He's gonna fly in the imaginary bathtub. Him and the and he, I think he's like the number three most fucked up Batman villain. I'd say. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I could do this. What I do you remember this? What do you consider the most fucked up Batman villain? Ooh, the most fucked up Batman villain. Um. And I'm talking about true gritty, disturbing versions of them. Like, the actual versions of them, not the child versions of them we got I in the 90s show. The Joker. the Joker, you'd say? I would have to go with the Joker. I, I don't think he's the most how, fucked up. How dangerous he is and how just... Because of, like, how smart he is and how crazy he is, he's, he could do, like, anything. He's absolutely the most mentally fucked up, but what he does is... Arguably really fucked up, but not the fucked up, in my opinion. Mm. I think Zaz is not as fucked up as the Joker. Damn, that cleavage! <laughs> anyway. Um, and if you look carefully, you get to see upper skirt. Hey! Actually, I'll say the most gruesome person, not even a Batman villain, just in general, Amanda Waller. Oh... She's not fucked up, she's just evil. She has no remorse. She's fucked up. She's not fucked up, because specifically, she does not get down to the nitty gritty. She does not personally torture people. She just has people do it for her. That does not make her fucked she up. She cares that, about nobody but herself, and she will kill. Yes, well, she does not personally... Well, sometimes she does, but she... Normally, she does not personally kill people. She just has people do it for her. That does not make her fucked up. That just makes her soulless. Fucked up. Is someone who personally enjoys torture. Someone who personally enjoys other people's pain done by her. Or done by them. Like, personally, Zaz is a serial killer who cuts himself for every single victim he has. Like a physical tally mark on his skin. Um, I would say... The Mad Hatter oh. is number two. I'd say the Mad Hatter is number two because a lot of people think the Mad Hatter is just some guy who uh, brainwashes people. The Mad Hatter actually, specifically in these games, yeah. um, actually even more specifically in Arkham City, we find out how really fucked up he is, that he every so often kidnaps a little girl thinks that thinking that they're Alice, but okay. actually sexually abuses them, That's thinking that they're Alice, and then murders them and kind of dissects them sometimes. But... Oh. The most fucked up guy, I believe, I truly believe, is a lesser known Batman villain called Professor Pig. P-Y-G-G. -G. Professor Pig? Yeah. Who in the 
What? Like I said, no one really knows Professor Pig, but I think he's an Arkham Knight. Um, Professor Pig is a guy who is obsessed with perfection. Uh-huh. Always wears a pig mask, sometimes actual, a real-life pig's face that he cut off from a pig. Wears it, like Leatherface, and actually, um, cuts people apart and puts them with other people to make the perfect human being. Oh like, takes God. organs and takes features, like a nose from one guy, and puts them to another human being, and tries to make the perfect human being in his image. That's Professor Pig. Well, then. Ah, uh, that's... I, th- I think he's the most fucked up Batman villain. No one really talks about him because he's that fucked up. It's hot as balls in here. Yeah, yeah, it's very fucking hot. The heater's not even on. The heater's not even plugged in. Um, uh, but yeah. Alrighty, well. Um, yeah, I guess that's a good place to cut it, I guess. It's been a... W- it's been a long episode, but it's a good start to this game, man. I love this game. So, you want to just cut it here and call it in the next episode? Oh my goodness! We just switched to black and white.